I am Murray Buchanan and I'm Future Hacks lead for Future City Glasgow. Uh, future uh, Hacks are um, hackathons uh, with, uh, I suppose, a bit of a difference. So hackathons happen uh, all over the world. Um, usually they happen over a weekend. Uh, it's taking two words, a hack and a marathon, and squashing them together. Uh, so you typically you get people who are experts in their field coming together over a weekend, a couple of days and working together, collaborating, usually around a common theme, um, uh, sharing ideas and coming up with um, concepts, solutions, innovation. So the first uh, uh, Future Hack focuses on uh, public safety, second one will be energy, third one is health and the fourth one will be transport. Those themes have been selected because they uh, match the themes that are part of the wider Future City Glasgow programme. Although people register as individuals, they may come along thinking or uh, knowing who they want to work in the team with. Um, uh, we always try and encourage people to uh, collaborate with other people, perhaps people that they don't know, because um, the, we find that that tends to make for stronger, stronger, uh, stronger teams because you then have divergent thinking within the team and a variety of uh, variety of um, points of view, which make for which challenge the concept and then make it stronger. Um, and uh, each of the events will be um, will feature a, a judging panel on the final day, uh, who will be responsible for listening to all the presentations and bringing their expertise to judge which they think best fits the judging criteria. Yeah, so somewhat unusually for this, uh, our hackathons all have a £20,000 cash prize and that will go to the winning um, the winning team. Um, many hackathons don't include uh, a cash prize, many of them you do it for the, the sheer joy of it. Um, so it's a big incentive for them to really work hard over the weekend and come up with something that is uh, innovative as well as meeting the other criteria. So it has to be relevant to the brief, has to be relevant to the, the theme and it also has to be feasible and sustainable. We're not looking for science fiction here, we're looking at things that can uh, improve the lives of those people who are living and working in Glasgow in the future with a focus on that weekend's theme. Um, if you begin with a nice open uh, brief, so there's no specific challenge being set to the participants, you don't know what they're going to come up with. Um, and this is the very essence of innovation. Um, so. Uh, they may well come up with uh, uh, they may well come up with apps which you could use on your on your uh, uh, handheld device, or on your laptop, your tablet, that kind of thing. But it may be something entirely different. Really, it could be pretty much anything. I mean, it could be uh, if we were just thinking uh, hypothetically, it could be some form of a building. It could be some kind of a, of a moving vehicle. It could be clothing. It could be a road surface. It really, could be it could be lighting. So it doesn't have to be an app by any stretch of the imagination. So the, the, the reason for that we're, we're doing all of this is because um, uh, we, want to improve, we want to improve lives. We want to make uh, Glasgow an even better city to live and work in. The important thing here is that uh, whatever they come up with has to have that positive impact. And that's really the focus. And they've got that incentive, that cash incentive to do that.